He should be paying me money for this. You need to, you need to keep brown rice, you know, brown, brown rice for me. So you have all your masalas. This one I identify from, from Pakistan. And um, see all the masalas. Here you have your basmati you have rice. Tikka masala, brij, uh, besanat, dalmash. All the rice uh, is there. Bafza, bu, ishaywat, uh, ban. Bambai, Bombay ban. Yeah, Bombay ban. And you have war, a lot of the war, oils. War. Amla tail and whatnot. Yeah, amla tail, yeah. All the teas. All the shan uh, masalas. Chai, uh, daladar chai from the fabrics. Oh, yeah, this is your Pakistani shop. But brother is from Afghanistan. Sangai Jore. So just to give you an idea, that's Mark and Talia Mall there. And if you walk literally two minutes from Mark and Talia Mall, it's the Afghan Iran market. If you're that desperate for Asian food, you bloody addicts. So after that is uh, also there's another Afghan shop in Hurma, Konyalti as well. And there's probably a few more at the back which I don't know of. And I don't care about your addict addiction to Asian foods. So with me, to be honest, uh, this is the Belladia Cafe, by the way. So it's very cheap. The Belladia Cafe is a very, very cheap. All the old people normally, normally go there, retired people. And they gather. Um, so basically, it's very, very... Uh, when it comes to making Indian food, it's very simple for me. You just, I just need my haldi, you know, the turmeric powder. I need my uh, chili powder, which they have in nearly all the shops. And I need my pepper. And a few more other things that are naturally found in Turkey anyway. So they're very, very cheap, extremely cheap, and you find it in the local markets. So that's how we make our Indian food. We don't need the masalas and the specific masalas.